to name that girl, probably to see her first steps, or boy, oops. My character has a baby, speaking of Sean. Um, the baby and daddy. It's basically, I like to say, what if um, Xavier and Magneto had a kid together? I mean, how hard is that? People with different political views, people who believe that you should take different actions, some believe that you shouldn't take any actions. Um, I mean, the love of my character's life is not with her. She's having a baby. He will not be there for the birth. To name that girl, probably to see her first steps, or boy, oops. Oh, yeah. We are going to show you the dawn of a new age. The idea of like nature versus nurture is very relevant in the sense that, you know, um, you are a product of your environment and for better or for worse, I think it's very real that in a time where, you know, there's very different ideologies about how different people can sort of coexist and get along peacefully and sort of what you may have been raised to believe may not be your truth as an adult and when you have to sort of face that and figure out, you know, what your family's raised you with versus what you truly believe in, it can be very difficult and I think that's incredibly relevant regardless of how old you are, that's sort of a, that's a truth always. Uh, I get to take on uh, fatherhood. Um, I don't think that that can be brought into the same sort of sphere as, as uh, discrimination, but, that, but there's a, an immense amount to delve into when it comes to broken homes. The effects of that at whatever age that it happens. We all have demons inside. It's what you do with them that matters. Thunderbird's just, he's dealing a lot with the worries of, of failure, dealing with the pressure that he's, he's failed the team and the underground, you know, their Which headquarters has disintegrated. Well, you know, you point fingers if you want, but um, he wasn't even there when it happened. I could point so. fingers if you'd like me to. And <laughs> he's dealing with that and, you know, they're trying to find their footing again. So you'll see from early on in the season and, and ongoing how it's uh, uh, something he's trying to push under the rug, but it's really wearing him down um, to a, a breaking point. Welcome to the real underground. Which leaves us to fight. I think that in the second season, we have a lot more groups that are brought into it. Um, and I think that in society, especially now, there's so many different perspectives from every situation. And there's so many different types of people that look at situations in different ways. And I think that our show definitely takes real world problems and then puts a cool twist, sci-fi twist on it. She's right have to deal with us. I think that, that that's a really interesting point. Yeah. And I think one of the things that we try to do, or, or we learn, is that by hiding stuff, by keeping stuff back, you, you may feel like you're doing the best thing because you're worried about how your family or whomever it is is going to react. But we, I think, our family are learning that the more that we talk and the more we get stuff out, the better it is in the, lo in the long run.